Hi guys, in this video we are going to see how we can build auto hiding bottom app bar with floating action button at a center. When we scroll it goes down and when we scroll up it comes up with an animation. So let's get started. In previous video we have built a floating action button like this. So when we scroll up it will show me the text with the icon or when I scroll down it will show me only a icon. You can see this video from the i button. So in this video we are going to see how we can build a bottom app bar. So when a user scrolls it, it will go down or when a user scrolls up it will show itself. So let's get started. So first thing we will do is just come inside a widget where you want to use that bottom app bar and then what we will do is just come inside uh, the build a method of that widget and then we will remove the floating action button here and remove that floating action button and also I will make it from scratch so I will remove the scroll controller and then I will also remove the scroll add listener and then controller will be also removed from here so I am making from the scratch it will be helpful for you so now what I will do is come inside a scaffold widget and then I will use a bottom app bar property bottom okay bottom navig okay bottom app where it is fine or ha yeah I will use a bottom navigation bar and then I will use bottom app bar Okay. Now <laughs> I will wrap this widget inside a widget and then uh, the widget should be animated container and then I will use a duration first duration const duration seconds milliseconds 800 then i will use the i will use let's refresh it and then i will use i will remove this variable it is for the floating action button and i removed it so now what i will do now what i will do is i will come here inside a bottom app bar first i need to show the refresh it and then I need to show the uh, first I will use the height property and height will be 70 and then refresh it now you can see that our bottom app bar is appearing so now what I will do first I will create a floating action button because bottom app bar requires not required but it uh, because we are using bottom app bar so it's benefit for us to provide a floating action button so provide a floating action button and then icon on pressed and then override the on pressed and inside a child i will use icon icon start sorry icon start add after this, I will use const here, c o n s t, and then refresh it. You can see that our bottom app uh, floating action button is appearing. Now, what I will do? I will dock the bottom, uh, yeah, floating action button with a app bar. To dock this, I will use floating action button location, floating action button location dot center dock when i refresh it you can see that it is not docked with bottom app bar now inside a bottom app bar i would like to give the margin between the notches so let's give a notch margin and the margin should be 8.0 and now okay refresh it okay okay refresh it refresh it first 
he started sorry i think we need to provide the child so first provide the child and then row <laughs> children after this we will use a uh, icon buttons icon buttons and uh, the first icon i will use is home icon cupertino icons dot home and i will call the all the code icon button and paste it four times because we need four icons refresh it now what we will do is uh, provide a shape notch shape and uh, notch shape dot okay circular nose shape sir circular <laughs> nose rectangle refresh it and now we can see you can see that we have a perfect notch here but uh, our icon is not uh, appearing well and icon is not looking as well so i will use a cupertino instead of cupertino i will use icons material icons home widget it will be perfect not is looking perfect and i will also use outlined not is looking perfect and the rest i will use is uh, second i will use is a heart icon and the third i will use a cart icon and the fourth icon i will use a bell icon now i will refresh it everything is looking fine now first i will make sure that i provide the const everywhere const and refresh it and now what i will do is uh, between the two icons i will create a sized box widget that will take a width of our fab so sized box width should be 50 then i refresh it after this you can see that we have get a space between the two widget two consecutive widget then i will use a const here use const wherever possible <laughs> now inside a row i will use main axis alignment and main axis alignment should be space between when i refresh it you can see that it is aligned perfectly but it is not looking perfect it is taking more spaces between the rows so i will use space even after this you can see that it is looking fine now our bottom map bar is looking fine but it is not going downward when i scroll so let's make it to make this first uh, we need to create a variable and i will call it uh, boolean variable <laughs> bool show btm app br equal to true then what i will do i will create a controller scroll controller so scroll controller and i will call it scroll controller equal to scroll controller then what i will do is i will come inside a init state method and i will called scroll controller dot add listener now inside listener we will check whether we are scrolling up or down so to do this we will scroll controller dot uh, position dot user scroll direction equal to equal to scroll direction dot reverse that is we are going um down so we need to hide the scroll bar bottom map bar so show bottom map bar equal to false and then we will use set state after this inside the else method we will call the same but 
instead of false we will use true now it is looking now it is, will be perfect we need to initialize this scroll content controller with our scrolling widget here it is single cell scroll view you can use list view or any type of scrolling widget or grid view now inside of controller you will use scroll controller now refresh it and then wrap this widget and come inside bottom navigation bar and now here we have provided a bottom map bar and it's and the child is zoom wrap this and then come inside the height of the animated container and also provide the curve for perfect animation we will use curves dot is in out sign okay now instead of here here height we will first you show bottom map bar is true then the height should be 70 otherwise zero so let's refresh it and see whether it is working or not now you can see that our bottom map bar is working and the animation is so smooth but you can see that when i scroll down i can see that my fab is touched with the ground but i don't want to do that what i can do is just <laughs> come inside the here a uh, action button location and when it is show bottom map bar true then it will be center dog otherwise uh, it will be floating action button location floating action button location action button location and then dot center float refresh it and now you can see that we have a center like okay. yeah you can see that it is looking perfect with the animation build a bottom app bar or bottom navigation bar using uh, in flutter when user scrolls down it will hide itself or when i scrolls scrolls up it will show itself so thanks for watching